What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am Coach Black. I am your internet relationship and breakup coach. I'm excited to be here today because we're going to talk about a very important subject. It's a question I get every single day from my coaching clients, and it has to do with why does your ex keep texting you after the breakup? Before we get started, I'd ask that you like this video, you share, and you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and it gets this message out to anyone else out there across the world that are dealing with relationship issues and breakups. I'm gonna call this video, the four types of texts that your ex will send you after a breakup. These four texts, it's important for you to understand the distinction because it's going to dictate the way you respond to your ex. Text number one is the status update text. These types of texts usually come right after the breakup. They're very matter of fact. There's no emotion behind them. Your ex is basically asking you questions about things that um, maybe needed to get completed after the breakup. For example, if you had an apartment with your ex and maybe you're closing out your lease and there's some documents that you need to exchange or some signatures that need to happen. These are very straight to the point. Keep in mind right after the breakup, your ex is going to be in the relief stage. They are still excited about their prospects for the future and moving on with their new life without you. So usually, these texts are going to be straight to the point, not a ton of emotion behind them, just matter of fact in, in trying to gather information from you. Now sometimes, if you went into no contact quickly, your ex is also trying to fish and figure out how you're doing, how you're feeling. The best way to respond to these, especially texts that come after the breakup, is to be short. You need to be to the point. If there's documents and paperwork and basically business things that you have to handle with your ex, you need to accommodate those requests, right? No contact is about showing yourself as mature, responsible, right? Capable of doing what's right for both you and your ex and moving on with your life as an adult. So you don't ignore your ex, especially when they're asking you perfectly legitimate questions, okay? So I know you're going to be hurting right now and that this is going to be difficult, but you have to respond, but keep it short and get out of these conversations as soon as possible. Text, no text message number two. I like to call these the bestie text. Alright, this is when it's been a few weeks since the breakup and you've been in no contact. And your ex is starting to realize that you're not hurting as much as they expected you to. You're not reaching out to them, you're not calling them, and now they are worried. Right? They are a little bit um, curious as to how it was so easy for you to just get over the breakup. And so they start to throw little breadcrumbs at you just to see how you react. Remember, this is still for your ex's ego. They wanna know that you're hurting. They wanna sense a little bit of pain. It makes them feel attractive. It makes your ex feel like they are so wonderful that you couldn't just easily move on without you. And so they'll bait you with little friendly texts, like, oh, just checking on you. Just wanted to see how you've been. Oh, work has been crazy. <laughs> You don't want to engage with your ex in these types of text messages. Again, just like the first type, you want to keep it as short as possible. If your ex is persistent, even when you're not being uh, very responsive, you're taking hours to respond to these types of texts in the hopes that your ex gets the message and leaves you alone. If they continue to ignore and force conversations, what you do is you set a boundary. You tell them, hey, I have no interest in being friends. You asked for a breakup and I do want to respect your wishes. Right now, I just want to focus on myself and my life and move forward. I do wish you the best. If you want to see me or if you want to talk in person, that's fine. You can arrange a date for us to get together. 
but I really do not have any interest in being friends. That's all you say. Now, at this point, more than likely, your ex is gonna leave you alone for the time being. You're gonna be feeling a little confused as to how you're able to resist him. This is what makes no contact so powerful. This is you demonstrating to your ex that you can resist him. They're not so wonderful, they're not so attractive that you cannot move on, that you cannot tell them no to the breadcrumbs. Because what your ex is trying to do is they're trying to give you less than what you're asking for. And so you have to say no. Okay, so when you push back on that, the next type of text that you're likely to see is the angry text. The angry text is when your ex realizes, and this doesn't apply to all exes, but some exes, when they realize that they're not getting their way with you. They're not able to get you to react in the ways that they expected. Now, all of a sudden, you're posting on social media, maybe you're on vacation, you're just trying to have a good time with yourself and your friends, your family. All of a sudden, you get a text from your ex and they're angry, right? They're either bringing up issues from the past or they're insulting you about things that you supposedly said about them. Maybe they're even questioning your character and saying, oh, this is what you wanted all along. This is your ex's way of trying to get a reaction. They're trying to get you to do something. They want some emotion. They want to know that you care. Now, what you do in these types of cases is one, you let time de-escalate things. You wanna take as long as possible before you respond. And when you do, if your ex did cross a boundary with the anger, you say, hey, we do not talk to each other in that way. We talk to each other with respect. So when you're ready to talk to me from a better place and be kind and respectful, I'll be happy to have a conversation with you then. This is all about setting a boundary with your ex, letting your ex know every single time that they try to push at you, that you're strong, you're confident, and you will not be mistreated. This is important because your ex will start to realize that if they want to have a conversation with you, if they miss you so much and they want to be a part of your life, they have to treat you as someone of value. And this is so beautiful because it's at this point that your ex is going to start to do the work for you. It's at this point that your ex is going to start to have that internal battle and question if they made the right decision, right? Are they truly losing you forever? And this is when the fourth text comes. The fourth text is a little more genuine, right? This is the, can I see you text? I miss you, I'm sorry, right? That is the last stage and it usually comes when your ex is starting to regret their decision. So be patient. If you're only seeing texts like status updates and bestie texts, for the most part, you need to be ignoring those, dismissing those, being as short as possible and getting out of those conversations stick with no contact. I'm telling you, it is so effective and so powerful. And you'll be surprised how quickly it can change your ex's tone and completely shift their attitude. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and impactful. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like. It really does help out a lot. If you have questions about your relationship and your breakup and you need help, Click the link in my bio and you can book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and I will be happy to walk you through the journey of either getting your ex back or moving on into a relationship that's a lot better with someone who loves and cherishes you. Once again, I'm Coach Black and it's been my pleasure talking to you. Leave a like, comment, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.